Today I thought I'd share a little bit of info about refractometers. Refractometers can be used to measure the concentration of solutes in solution. However, each refractometer is specifically designed to measure the concentration of a particular item. In other words, refractometers are product specific. For example, refractometers measure the concentration of sugar in aqueous solution in units called bricks. It's important to note that some types of refractometers only operate within a specific range. Therefore, it is extremely important to choose the correct type so measurements will be accurate and meaningful. Temperature can influence the accuracy of a refractometer. It is often recommended that samples be allowed to come to room temperature before measurements are taken. Unfortunately, room temperature may vary season to season as well as location. Therefore, purchasing a refractometer that has automatic temperature compensation is a good way to minimize temperature-induced variations in measurements. There are two styles of refractometers commonly used in food processing, portable handheld refractometers and benchtop refractometers. Portable refractometers are less expensive and can easily carried into the manufacturing environment to take measurements. However, they will usually only cover a limited range. Therefore, it may be necessary to purchase several portable models to ensure all of the desired concentrations can be measured. For example, measuring the sugar in fresh apple juice might require a refractometer with an operating range of 0 to 18 degrees bricks. However, measuring the sugar concentration in apple jelly might require a refractometer with an operating range of 40 to 70 degrees bricks. Benchtop refractometers are more expensive. However, a single unit can typically be used to measure degrees bricks across the entire range of possible values. Benchtop models are also available that automatically measure and display concentration readings. The units can help reduce the variability between measurements taken by different operators since the measurements are read electronically rather than interpreted by a particular operator. So just a little bit of info about refractometers. For more information, please visit sunup.okstate.edu or food.okstate.edu.